guys, it's Julie, and I'm here with Greta the Golden. She goes home tomorrow after three weeks with us, completely off leash trained, whole new mindset, a pleasure to be around. And her housemate, another Golden, comes in a couple months. So pretty soon they're gonna have two dogs, completely trained, living with them. Now, our training is meant to make your life easier with your dog, less stressful, less frustrating, and more fun. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to use your dog's obedience and training around the house as a lifestyle, instead of having them live in the Wild West and then saying, let's take 10 minutes to train or let's take 10 minutes and try to have a good walk. Doesn't work that way. It's a lifestyle. You've gotta live with them this way. So, dog 101, first thing, kennel. Your kennel is home base. They sleep there, they're there when you're not home. This is not only for safety, we have heard nightmares of stories about dogs getting up on counters, turning on the stove, killing cats, eating things they shouldn't, getting out of unlocked gates. That all can be avoided. If you use your kennel the right way, your dog loves their kennel. They have a nice comfy bed and a bone. They eat their meals in there. That makes everything so much easier and you don't feel guilty putting them in because you know you fulfill them when they're out of the kennel. So this is the way you start your morning. You approach the kennel, you put your dog's tools on. We're just using this one as a reference since it's up here. You put your dog's tools on and it's structure right out of the gate. It's a potty and then you might bring them back in to do your thing, get yourself ready, eat breakfast. I'll show you how to do that. So. First thing you're gonna do is open your dog's kennel and make sure they don't rush out. This way you're starting right off the bat with respect. Now you don't have a dog flying around your house playing catch me if you can. You're gonna put your dog's tools on. That way you've got a way to control them right out of the gate, okay? And then you can either release them out of their kennel or you can recall them. This is a really cool way to keep your dog's obedience sharp. In order to use recall, we're gonna use the tone button which is the black button that's by itself. And we're gonna say C-O-M-E and tap the tone, in which case she's going to come out of the kennel and sit her down somewhere at my feet. Greta, come. Oh, good job. Okay, and then she'll put herself in a down. What a good girl. So, first thing in the morning, you probably wanna let your dog out to use the restroom. Greta. Girl, we're gonna release her out to the backyard, let her go do her thing, and then we'll recall her back when it's time to come back in. All right, she's been out there a couple minutes. Let's do a tone recall back inside. Good girl, baby, there she comes. Yay, sit. Very nice. Back inside, she has gone to the bathroom. It might not be time for a walk yet, but maybe it's time to get some coffee. So I'm gonna put my dog in a downstay right here in the kitchen so she can be included in my life, be with me as I do daily things around the house. Maybe I wanna make a coffee before our walk and I have my dog relaxing in her downstay. Okay, maybe it's time to get ready for our walk. I am going to recall my dog from the kitchen and put her on place in the family room so we can get all leashed up. I'm gonna use my tone recall. Good girl! And then I'm gonna point to place, place. She's gonna relax on place, good job. And then I can go get my leashes, which are right over here, get them on, and we can start our one thing that you're not going to want is that when you grab your leash, it means your dog does zoomies all over the house. Cute for some people, but that means you're really gonna struggle on your walk. So as Cesar Milan says, leash means calm. So she sees the leash, and that just means I stay calm because I'm about to go on a walk. So I'm gonna go ahead and leash her up. We're gonna heel over to the door. Sit, very nice. We sit as I get the door situated. So notice everything is just politely waiting. If she breaks her sit as I jiggle the door handle or open the door, that gives me an opportunity to click the e-collar and put her back in her stationary command. Heel. And now we're on our walk. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay, so notice everything we've done thus far has contributed to her behavior on this walk. Can you imagine if I let her do zoomies, get crazy, be all over the house, living in the Wild West, 
and then I tried to take her out on a walk and wonder why she doesn't heal. So everything adds up to a dog who is polite and well behaved in all aspects of life. So now we're out on our wonderful walk, which I'm not even really having to use my leash for. She's in a perfect heel. And we're gonna go back inside and guess what? We're gonna go back on place, okay? Because after the walk, we don't want her again getting those post-walk zoomies that a lot of people write to us complaining about. We're gonna go back in the house. Place. She knows just what to do. And then at this point, again, it's time for the human to do something that you do. So it could be laundry, it could be sweeping, it could be cleaning. It could be doing dishes, but you know you've got your dog relaxing. And really, they sleep 20 hours a day anyway. <laughs> so I finished my chores and I'm ready to play with my dog. So notice in all the in-between times, Greta is patiently waiting. So when I'm ready to release her and play with her, I'm gonna give her that wonderful release word. Greta, break, good girl! And now I can do whatever I want. Maybe I want to wrestle with her on the ground. Maybe I want to play with her. Maybe we go up to the couch and cuddle, right? But it's an activity that I do with her. That's just me and her. And she's a good girl. Yes, she is. Very nice. So activity of your choice, whether that be playing outside or inside with toys. And when that activity is over, now is a good time because maybe you're leaving the house. Now is a good time to put her back in the kennel. Let's go, Greta. And we say, place. And she goes right in without argument, without question. And she'll wait for you until you get home and you're ready to do the next activity. A really good pattern to get into and remember is this. Crate. Walk. Play. Place. Those are the four things that you're going to be doing with your dog on a daily basis. So you're just cycling through whatever those things are. And then a couple months down the line, you can start giving her more freedoms in the house and seeing what she does with it. If she's starting to chew stuff in that room when you're not there, back to structure, back to place. If she's starting to get her paws up on the countertops and grab things that aren't hers or could be potentially dangerous, back to structure. Some dogs require a lot of structure to live. I know my personal dog does. And some dogs do really well with a lot of freedom. Okay, so we set this up, we see how they do, and we adjust accordingly. She's doing awesome. She's so ready to go home tomorrow, and I am so excited to transfer this back over to our owners.